Hi, I'm Nathan Cruz, and we're once again talking about Batman inside the toy room. We're going to have another look at Batman here. Now, in previous episodes, I've talked about Batman the Animated Series. I've talked about Batman 1997. The characters, you know, dates all the way back to the 1930s. So there's a lot to talk about, and I've been collecting Batman for as long as I can remember. It's my favourite superhero, so there's a lot of stuff in this toy room that I didn't get a chance to talk about in previous episodes that I kind of want to go over today, starting with this. This is probably one of my favourite things in this toy room, and it's an actual porcelain statue Batman fighting Killer Croc. This was actually purchased by a fan of mine from my Amazon wishlist. The link to that is actually in the description below. But yeah, I kind of put this on this that wishlist almost as a thing that I'd never thought I'd get. It was just on there because this is these statues are quite pricey. But yeah, there was some generous fan out there. One day I arrived to the training center that I you know, teach pro wrestling at, and there was this huge box waiting for me, and this was in it, and I just couldn't believe it. I am. Um, my jaw dropped and it's even more so when I took it out of the box, pieced it together, set it up. You just gotta look at the detail on this statue, sorry. I mean, it's amazing. It just looks like Killer Crocs. It looks like Batman, it's just so good. I, can't, I, I don't know where to begin with it. These, like I say, these statues, a lot of people do collect these. And if I had more money, I probably would collect more. One of the first little statues that I did get was this right here. The Batman Arkham games are well known within the gaming community and amongst Batman fans as being some of the, the best of Batman lore. Um, and when Arkham City was released, I wanted the collector's edition because it came with this, which is like a, it's a noir black and white Batman statue, a bit like this Catwoman statue just behind me here. Again, I just wanted this, and this was one of the first little collectible pieces that I got and added to my collection. And then every game that came out after then, I had to get the collector's edition. So they came with the statue. So there was Arkham Origins, and that came with this right here, which is Batman holding up Joker. I just love the look of this statue. It's only made of plastic. It's not made of porcelain, but yeah, it's still amazing and uh, I, I really enjoy this one. Now when Arkham Knight came out, I was faced with a dilemma because it was debuting on the PlayStation 4 and I needed to buy a PlayStation 4. And there was a collector's edition where it came with a limited edition PlayStation 4 with an Arkham Knight skin on it, or you could get the one with the statue. I opted for the PlayStation 4 because I needed a PlayStation 4 and I thought it'd be pretty cool to own a Batman PS4, which I now own downstairs. A year or so later, a big box on my birthday, rip it open and Gemma has managed to track down the statue that I would have got with Arkham Knight this is one of my favorite statues because it lights up it's just batman stood above gotham it just looks amazing every christmas i throw an annual party and i always turn everything on in the toy room and people always come in one of the pieces that they always talk about is that batman statue it draws your eyes in quite the centerpiece on that bookshelf right there now when we did the unboxing episode one of the things that i talked about was the legends of batman figures now these are awesome i've already got some of these on display we've got this one right here it's like a Robin Hood version of Batman. I remember getting this from Quicksave when I was like six. And he's like got a green cape. I really like the look of this one. I just think it's really cool. The idea was to take Batman and just put him in these different scenarios and just imagine, you know, what if. This one is probably my favorite from that collection. Dark Rider Batman. The I mean, Batman's known as the Dark Knight and now here he is on an actual horse being the Dark Knight. I think this one's awesome. The sword, the look of him, the whip, the, the look of the horse. You can say an action figure, but it's a pretty cool little statue here. So I like to keep this one on display here in the toy room. I've got some of those figures actually. Again, they were made by Kenner in the 90s. Legends of Batman right here. We've got Cyborg Batman in the box. And then the other one that I've got in box, I was actually working at a Comic-Con in 2018 and uh, there was a store there that had loads of toys from the 90s and this happened to be one of them and i needed to get it because i remember having this as a kid and you know sold it on that jumble sale and uh, so yeah i wanted to have it back into the what's it super wheelie <laughs> what <laughs> i didn't think wheelie was a thing outside of england <laughs> I've only just noticed that. Some of the other figures that they released in that is are these Legends of the Dark Knight figures. We've got Bane here and the premium looking Batman. I, I got these by sheer accident on like an eBay bundle of figures that I bought. I actually was buying all the Joker for the animated series collection and these were just thrown in with it. And then I got them 
and I thought they were amazing. And I looked up some of the others. There's a Batgirl and a Robin in this collection. I can't remember the exact name of them because there's so many different ones, but they just look amazing. And I really want to add them to the collection. There's some way it's even Batman's like a pirate or maybe Catwoman's a pirate. I can't remember which. Might be Joker. Joker's the pirate. They, they'll go wild with some of this stuff. It's amazing. This was recently gifted to me by another professional wrestler here in the UK by the name of Dan Evans. It's a Batman animated series pop-up book. <laughs> it's the original one from that from the 90s. That's the Batmobile with it. I, I never even knew this existed and then he just contacted me and said he came across it, sent me it in the post. So big thank you to Dan for that one. Some of the stuff down here, board games that I've got from the original 89 film. Right here we've got some of the figures from the Batman and Superman film. I think that film gets a bad rap but if you watch the uncut version, I thought this was a really good film and I think Ben Affleck's the best Batman. These are something that I really enjoy in here. So when Batman Forever was getting launched, the marketing was crazy for it and they partnered up with McDonald's for Batman Forever. And one of the things they made with these collector glasses. Now I've got Riddler, I've got Batman, I've got Robin and I need to get Two-Face to complete the collection. They just don't do cool stuff like that anymore. It's so nanties. Up here we've got some of the DC Comics designer series. So whoever drew that character at that time, they've then taken an adaptation and made it into a figure. Various different statues here. I've talked previously about this Two-Face, but I've got the Joker fish, the Noir, Catwoman. Everyone's seen Big Bang Theory. That lunchbox was featured in the background. I just had to have it. The cowl, uh, Gemma got me based off the Christian Bale Batman. Up here, we've got some of the diecast originals from the original 1989 Batman. This is the Batmobile. Um, I used to have... Aha! Do you remember in the unboxing episode, I was like, I don't know ERTL toys are. Guess who made this? ERTL. I need to do my research on who they are because that could have been a killer croc then that would, would kind of tie in. Yeah, anyways, a 1989 die cast of the Batmobile. A lot of people love this Batmobile and say it's their favorite. It's in my top three, I just, it looks amazing. Card game, almost got them based off the animated series. Hot Wheels did a collection of Batman vehicles and I had to, you know, I think they were only like three pounds a piece, so I had to collect them. So dark day in history would be when Toys R Us closed. And I remember going in that day and checking out everything that they had on sale. And one of the things that they did happen to have was this Batmobile, this huge Batmobile off the Adam West 60s Batmobile. I can't remember how exactly how much I got it for, but it was pretty much half price. So I was really happy to pick that up along with a bunch of other stuff. I remember getting some Power Ranger stuff that day. And then one Christmas, um, Matt Myers got me the Adam West Batman as they did a bunch of toys from that series in like, I think it was around 2015 they launched these and it was all these different figures from the you know the 60s tv show which many people have fond memories of batman were introduced to the character back then batman egg cup and toaster cutter i mean are these <laughs> i literally collect everything batman this is a bit sun damaged this used to sit in our kitchen but then uh Gemma shouted at me Everyone knows that I turn up on show days when I'm wrestling in like a nice smart suit and so someone got me a Batman tie clip, I always wear a tie clip and so yeah, given the right suit and the right tie, this is sometimes featured on me. But I mean my Batman collection just continues to grow because he's my favourite superhero, everybody knows he's my favourite superhero so I often get a few Batman gifts over Christmas and obviously I'm still collecting all of the 97 Batman and Robin figures which is ever growing but yeah these are some of the individual like core pieces that are in here that are separate where's that cursor going make sure you subscribe to this channel and tell your friends about it tell everyone about me <laughs>